I would like to begin where all things begin, our Lord and Savior. I thank God for all the blessings He has bestowed upon me. I especially would like to thank my family, my three children, Jesse and her husband Carlos, my son, Jason and Mark, my husband, Eddie Bonamor, and my second family, who are my sister in law, Carmen, Heidi, Mary, and my brother in law. I have four beautiful grandchildren here, Brianna, Brittany, Daliani, and Jaden. My two sisters, Elizabeth Bernice, my brother Louis, and his family, Karen, his wife. My three nieces, Auntie Nancy, Tiana, and you can see how my nephew rocks it, right? <laughs> 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 I can't tell you how was I am for having all of you in my life. I'd like, to thank, I'd like to thank my community as represented by all of you here tonight. Fortunately, me to represent you in the New York State Assembly. It is a great honor and high privilege to be amongst my peers in government today. Because even with one of the biggest snowstorms, you're here. Thank you. To my community, you have placed your faith and trust in me, and this is and this I do not be lightly. Tonight we're not here to celebrate my victory, but rather our victory. Woo! While the press and others talk on sensational issues, my community asks themselves, how about addressing real issues that affect our district? And they made their decision. I would like to thank my opponents for running a fair, competitive campaign and reminding me of the various issues that are still very present in my district. I was born in Puerto Rico and walked to the United States when I was three months old. Most of my life, I lived with my grandmother, who only knew how to take one bus to and from a factory job as she retired from. I had a very rough life. However, I truly believe that all of the things I endured was the preparation for this day. During my young years, I lived in a drug infested building, like Harmony Richard said, with three children that I was raising on my own with no heating hot water. To my blessing, two organizers, Richard Bradford and Harmony Bodia, stepped in and enlightened me about my rights. Rights I did not know I had. Well, let's just say I took those rights and ran with them for 23 years. Thank you, and thank you. Still up to the point where I even had a degree in political science. <laughs> Along my adventurous life, I have learned something that I never knew before. I have inherited my mother's passion to help people. My mother was a tough and very spicy woman who did not take no for an answer. Thanks, Mom. May you continue to rest in peace. As a strong Latina woman, I stand for those in need. If you were to ask, I would tell you that my story is one that, you must, that must be told. So if you are a victim of domestic violence, I understand. If you or were ever homeless, I understand. If you are a single parent that has passed and made sacrifice in your life in order to give children better, okay, okay. I understand. <laughs> Understanding is the third word that I will follow with passion and the willingness to help others need. This is also a call to ask all elected officials in my district to understand that they too have an obligation to help them to unite so that we can together understand that other people come first. Well, let me start by thanking old and new friends who have made a new life in my life. 
Thank you, Rabbi Miriam, for making it here. Thank you, Speaker Melissa Marks, President Eric Adams, Senator Ruben Diaz, Senator Martin Young, Assemblywoman Lee Rose, Assemblywoman Gabriel Rosa, Assemblywoman Annette Marston, Assemblyman Kirk Ortiz, Assemblyman Walter Mosley, Assemblyman Casey, Assemblyman Segura, Assemblyman Crespo. Assemblyman Weber. Our former Councilman Eric Lewis. Councilman Rafael Sinan. Councilman Weber. Councilman Jumani Williams. Getting uh, 
uh, morning in Albany and getting the run down, and then we were just looking at each other like that. He's like, I'll say more. And I'm like, no, he's from here's But thank you for being uh, a, a great friend. Uh, my husband was almost all thinking, who's the charm? <laughs> 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 Thank you to our world president, Eric Adams. You are the last. Thank you to all the judges that are here today, friends, family, and the Stella. <laughs> but um, I just want to say, have a great evening, and just wish you all, and I'm going to do the best that I can. I can't come into the world. I don't know what that means, but I am sure ready to roll up the seat and win that fight in all the That's right. That's right.